What else, cocksucker? What's up in your world? Your dad's been here. How's that been? It's been a lot. Of, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun having him. I did a couple periscopes with him. He's having a lot of. You fun. got him all sick with that fucking no, Billy Go food eat. Trying to blame it on probiotics. I'm telling you to stop eating tacos at that place. They got caught serving li lizards in 2000 something. Ugh. Even the YMCA people tell you they don't eat there. You, you when you told me you were eating, I go this fucking guy is attracted to bad food. That whole mall there, I wouldn't eat in that whole mall. That whole no whole diner. Greek place next to that Mexican place and that. Me Do you see what's next to that place? That bodega. Yeah. Do you see what goes in there? No. Go in there and park one there and see what goes in there. <laughs> what's in the bodega? Just see the type of people that go into that bodega and then tell me if you want to eat tacos over there. Yeah. Why does the bodega have to do with the because tacos? Because it's all together. It's all connected. <laughs> they get products from that bodega. Maybe they get spam or something. Who fuck knows? I'm just telling you. That's a scary ad. You give them that shit food. From day one, you've been giving them shitty food. You threw them off. No, we went and got sushi. We went and got, right, we you got, got them sushi. sushi and stout. Everything else has been garbage. That Mexican shit. You got them that Thai shit. I and you got them no, that, there's no Thai shit. And you got them that cat fink fucking dumpling shit from down there that you take Delicious. Them. The fuck out of here. He loves the dumplings. Right now, there's little kids looking for their cats somewhere in fucking Venice. And right now, those fucking Koreans are jumping up and down over there. They got fucking, you I know. keep looking for them. There's still not a single stray cat. I, Nothing. I have to find one just to prove you wrong. No, there's no stray cats down When I'm sitting there and I, and I get that first burst of hunger, I start thinking about what places I want to go to. And I start thinking about who would I call to go to those places. You never, except Mexican food, maybe. But your sushi days with me are done. You embarrass me. Ah. <sighs> Uh, with that generic white sushi. Who cares? What kind of, see, this is where I was with you until this point. Who cares what the other person is eating? And then he wants to go to Japan now to eat fucking American sushi. No, I, I would people. try something there. Yeah, you would try something there. Like he gets wants, mad at me because I eat, I eat tuna and shrimp and different variations of all this. Who goes Who cares? To eat fucking shrimp. Every, sushi. Shrimp is delicious. How bad do you uh, be to go get the same shit you get everywhere? Which is shrimp salad. Shrimp toast, I mean, the, the main fucking thing, so they could slice it and put it on a piece of rice, and it still it's tastes delicious. Like shit. No, it doesn't taste like shit. You don't even put wasabi on it. I nothing. do, do, but don't, okay. I do absolutely put wasabi on it. How dare you? You don't put no wasabi I do. On. He just gets mad because it's not what mad. you want. But I don't that, get mad. I don't get yes, mad you do. You said I, I can't go to sushi anymore. You. You're an embarrassment. <laughs> so I tell you the truth, you're an embarrassment. <laughs> Not taking you for sushi, even the way who, it looks. Who at me, are you like, Yeah, I was gonna say the, the waiter. The waiter looks at me and goes, "Who? Who? Where did you find this fucking mutt? Uh, two su su sushi tuna and fucking shrimp like a fucking. It's delicious. His name is Hank. Get the fuck out of here! You gotta get the, the rolls. The, I do get rolls. The blue crab rolls, the soft no, shell yeah, yeah. rolls, the fucking eyeball rolls. You gotta get all those rolls. Like Tuesday, I'll go to a different place. There's a room that they're telling me around the corner here. Yeah. There's a fucking place, an insurance place. They turn into a stand-up comedy place. Next to the sushi place with the D rating, right there by 7-Eleven by the police station. A sushi place with D rating? <laughs> Do they get any fucking business? Tons I would of never, business. never. I would never. Listen, for six dollars, they give you- You want food poisoning? Dog, I went there two times and I, and I left there you go there if you got weight to drop. He wants to lose some quick weight by vomiting and shitting for a couple days. Because it was days. open, like one day I go, well, let me see if these people got business. Me and Lee went in there. I, didn't you go in there with me and Lee? Yeah, you, Lee? Br you brought me in there after. I can't believe you're accusing me of wholesale sushi. Well, the first time it wasn't bad. It was close by. I didn't go on Yelp. I God took a chance. Me. It yeah, wasn't. You took nobody, a chance, nobody, all right. nobody got sick. Nobody got sick. It wasn't. They they gave you four items on the menu. For like six bucks <laughs> on oh a California God. roll. And as you're reading it, you're like, this is two day old sushi, but I'm going to live. I swam in the Hudson. This ain't no big thing. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't the name like Sonny's or something? Sonny D's. Is it, that's, it, isn't it like a Jewish old man's name? It's Sonny's? a Jewish like, old man with two Mexicans oh working. <laughs> they don't know it's lick as fucking English. But let me tell you something. They're out there under a highway. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. They're under a highway. The corner, 10 feet away, is rat-infested dumpster. <laughs> and you know what? They have sidewalk eating. And there's people out there <laughs> no, eating no. like it's fucking Paris, France. It's al fresco. Yeah, it's al fresco. <laughs> Between the pollution and... There's times I go to that 7-Eleven and I don't want to go home. There's a 7-Eleven there. There's a 7-Eleven, a dry cleaner, a bartending school. All right? So they have a bartending school there. And people go in there and drink. 
Really? Like from 8 to 10. Oh that's God. what they do. So they want to train you. So neighborhood people go in there and get like a beer for like a dollar. <laughs> you learn how to get a beer, how to open it and shit like that. That's hysterical. You how get to a mix a Greyhound. And, a and then they go next school. door to the sushi place with the D rating. And they eat their hearts out. And they're out there, you know, talking about gluten and ha, ha, ha. And <laughs> world peace and Hillary Clinton should have done it. And, but meanwhile, they're eating D fucking sushi. It's hysterical. But next to that, there used to be an all-state place. And now some kid cleaned it out, put a stage in there and chairs. And for two bucks, you go up there and they let you go on stage. And they run till like three in the fucking morning. That's why I'm scared to go to that 7-Eleven now. Every time I go in there, I see a different comedian. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? You're in the fucking corner over there with rats. <laughs> Is that the green room with the rats? No, that's just a little room over there. But that, That's really cool. You know how many times I've parked and I've gone in there like at 1 in the morning just to get like a soda and, and, and no smoking gum or a lighter? And I'll sit there. And within eight minutes, I'll see a rat the size of my fucking arm right there, 20 feet away. And that's when I run in the car like a little fucking pussy. <laughs> I fucking hate rats. I don't like those, like, vermin animals. Like, I don't like, like, in, uh, we went to Rutgers in New Brunswick. They have, like, these ballsy-ass pigeons where you'll be walking and a pigeon, like, won't move for you. So, like, you have to, you end up finding yourself walking out of the way. I'm, like, I know I'll take out a pigeon. I know I'll beat a squirrel. But at what cost? Like, it scratches my face, it po pokes me, and it, the bird flies up, tries to beak me in the eye. So, I, I, just, I do the same thing. I just avoid them. I love animals, but I'll kick a pigeon. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. As I don't want to I I don't wanna have to twist this little pigeon I don't pigeon like neck. those little fucking lice-infested <laughs> motherfuckers with their nah. disgusting feathers, shitting, plucking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. fucking they're dirty. Man. They're dirty, man. They're dirty. I fucking hate pigeons with yeah. all my heart and shit. <laughs> that place serves pigeon meat too. What place? That place that you went that day that you and Paula went. I just read the review. They serve yeah. fucking pigeon and <laughs> <laughs> poorly. He calls me every me. He calls me and I, my dad. I, I gave my dad a few options, including stout because I knew I, I took him through the, the Joey questions. I'm like. What's Joey going to ask if I asked him? Okay, Stout, we got him. He wanted to go get some Mediterranean. Cause they we have no Mediterranean down there in fucking Florida? It's not a, like that. You got to no. take a plane all the way out here and embarrass me. We've been going there since I moved yeah. here. Uh, and then so. I happened to see Lee, too, but I came for the sandwich. Jesus Christ but almighty. He calls me, and he we go through this whole 10-minute barrage of... He, he didn't even talk to my dad. He's like, I don't want to talk to people who eat hummus and hung up the phone. And my dad's like, does he call you uh, and ask about your meals a lot? He's like, every meal. I like give the report of what I ate. Oh, it's I do it just to just to shock myself. <laughs> that's my entertainment. Whatever his dinner is, yeah, that's what my entertainment is. <laughs> because there's always a story. He could call me and tell me he's gonna go get a lobster tail, and he'll call me an hour later, and it completely changed to something so fucking outlandish. That I won't understand. That. <laughs> I can see if you go, nah, we didn't want lobster. We went and got fish. But he'll go from like a lobster tail to like the worst taco place in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know he could talk that. to me about Mexican food and we'll talk about it, how he loves it. He can't wait to have it. And an hour later, he's eating at a black fried chicken place and he can't finish the chicken because it's so fucking bad. <laughs> <coughs> this guy goes to Pismo, eats pizza. In Hollywood, you go to Omiba, you always go to Joe's. It's like tradition. You go to Joe's. No one knows this tradition. And you, this get, is and you get pizza. When we go to Hollywood, where do I take you the last three times? Yeah, so that's... Okay, tradition. it's tradition. Him and Paula love pizza. They love bad pizza. They're at Omiba. All they had to do was walk 30 yards to go to Joe's. They're not dirty. 30 fucking yards of this. Where'd they go? They got in their car... And went to the worst fried chicken place in the fucking country. They couldn't even recognize. They, they would have done better at Popeyes. We would have. It's sad. It's not the worst. It's supposed to be the best. But who knew? No. You, that's what happens. You told me not to use Yelp. No, no, who hasn't heard no, Roscoe's listen, Chicken and Waffles? When you're right at Omiba, there's only one place to go. And that's Joe's Pizza. Well, I mean, you'll travel two hours to get a bad pizza. Next time I'm going to call you at, at like no, don't 5 call me. This p.m. Is just to check where This is go. stuff you fucking know off the top of your head. I he went to Austin. Thank God I stopped him. He was going to all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet. 
<laughs> Who goes to Austin to eat Chinese food? They would have poisoned them. They would have poisoned them. Thank God for Bobby Sharon to take them to eat Mexican food. Oh, uh, Chewy's. Chewy. I mean, you know, it's so weird. Mr. Syatt, you don't understand what I live with. <laughs> Today? Today? Listen, he's happy with Blue Apron for a year. Two weeks ago, he... Wait, what are you doing, Lee? I'm at the supermarket buying Parmesan cheese. Like, what are you cooking? Spaghetti? He goes, no, no. This company, they, they deliver. This stuff was so bad. They had to throw it away. They never got it again. They were so embarrassed. Like, I don't take a chance. I'm from Jerry. I don't take chances. There's no reason to take a chance. If that Chinese place has a lunch special for four ninety five with a Diet Coke, I go there every day. <laughs> That's where everybody goes. I don't care if they want to eat Greek sandwiches. I don't even pay attention. Like, I can't eat Chinese food. That's great. You're eating Chinese food today. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I don't even ask people. Like, what, do you, what would you prefer today? I don't give a fuck. We're going to get the best. Do you want to eat the best or do you want to fucking suck dick and take a chance and get... We came over to the house with his mom and they were kind enough to stop at Gelson's, right? And get cupcakes or something? Yeah. And I saw Lee open up a cupcake. I never saw anything like that in my life. It was the neatest cupcake. If you looked at Lee, you thought he had a fucking lobster tail in front of him. <laughs> with a piece of pussy next to it on the side. I watched the whole cupcake go down. But he did it so politely. Like he had a paper towel under it. He had a plan for this cupcake. Then he took the wrapper off the cupcake very meticulously. He didn't want to mess up the frosting. And if I'm correct, I think he even used a fork. Absolutely. That's how much it was as meticulous as I've ever seen anybody eat a fucking cup. Really? I hate... There's nothing I hate more. And, and this is why I think the fly thing bothers me. I might not be super organized, but I hate, like, getting sticky or getting stuff on my... I, I, it, it drives me bananas. So the thought of getting, like, cup... Because there's, like, there's been a lot of frosting on it. The thought, especially at your house, like, not... Like, at my house, I could wipe it off or go wash my hands. But it's somewhere somewhere else in front I of people. I got a bathroom. No. I, I, it, my mom has a joke that when I was a kid, she could leave me on a towel outside because I didn't like the feeling of grass on my like it was too, like it was prickly. So I, I don't, I don't like all that. I don't, I don't like frosting on me. I, 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 I don't go and get wings out because I can't imagine how like very rarely. I wings hate it. out. Yeah. What do you mean wings out? Like if you go out, go to like Buffalo Wild Wings or a place to get. Uh, the only place I've gotten wings with you is that place, and I think it was Austin. The hotel had really good wings, but if you look, I feel like eighteen napkins in front of me. Because there's no way I'm leaving that on my face, especially around my mom and then your wife and daughter. You don't want to make an ass of yourself. No, you make a ass of yourself doing everything else. Why no, not? I. Uh, What's the difference between fucking? Merry Christmas. A, what the between eating a cupcake like it's the last fucking steak on earth? My point was that the way you looked at that cupcake, I didn't give a fuck about a cupcake. I don't give a fuck about cupcakes. But the way you looked at that cupcake, you Open the this. door and let Jezume in. What's the guy? <laughs> What's the dude's name that comes on Passover? The fucking ass. I don't even uh, know his church. I don't even know shit like that. Uh, I just know that there's Elijah. questions. Elijah. There's questions and shit. Well, because I don't dude, know what kind of questions you have to ask. Some dumb shit. There's like there's like there's Jewish women who are really good cooks but like the jewish food kind of sucks don't it, you fucking dare talk about no, jewish food no because like okay that. the pot roast is delicious latkes are delicious is that all you know nah no there's more but i don't like white fish matzo ball. sable yeah salmon i, I like salmon but the, i don't like matzo ball soup are you out of your mind you like kreplach i don't you like kreplach soup i don't think so <laughs> you like wontons of course it's I like a wonton. fucking jewish wonton What's in it the crepla? It's a Jewish wonton. That's all that is. That's all it is. But it's what's fucking in it? is stuffed it, it, with meat. Okay. It's a skin stuffed. So the wonton they just put in the soup. The kreplach, they fucking fry the shit first, then put it in the soup. <laughs> that, w w is it one of the ones that have? What's that? What's that hot dog topping that they try to put in one of those? I thought. A sauerkraut. Don't they put sauerkraut in it? Are you a fucking Jew? What are you? I don't know. Like, not really. I'm a reformed Bro, Jew. I mean, listen. There's just a lot of fucking amazing food. Pastrami. You know, we don't like pastrami. Smoked meats that are cured. Corned beef. Brisket. 
He don't like none. Pickles. You, 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 can't, you, can't, you can't. You can't say pick. Ah. You yeah. can't say pickles. I mean, what do you get I at a Jewish fucking deli? Yeah. You get pickles right away. He That's gets the potato first thing. chips. No, I, that too. They bring you that too. Listen, there's so much. What about fucking kashkavanikish? I'm. You're just making up words now. Is, is that something? <laughs> <laughs> That's a real fucking. Noodle Kugel. What, oh, come yeah, on, Noodle man. Kugel is good. That's, That's true. fire, man. The Kashkavana kiss okay, is but stupid. Comparatively, wouldn't you say other cultures blow Jew- Jewish food out of the water? I would say. I mean, it's different. The Jews contributed a lot to culinary history. Okay. Challah? Challah is... It's bread. <laughs> it's delicious, but it's bread. You see, I got to deal with. So wait a second. This guy goes on Yelp for food reviews before he and goes to And he's the fucking restaurant. guy that writes it to... No, no, listen no, no, to no, me. I don't you write... Don't it's no just bread. It's delicious, but, but... bread is... You understand how unique <coughs> and how hard it is to make bread good? Yes. Yes, it's... The, well, I guess and the not, Jews have perfected right. it in so many different ways. But then, what, the then, flat then bread. why do they keep us with matzah? Why do they make us eat matzah every year? Because they had to fucking get the hell up out of there and they had to make something quick. It was, it was just a snack. Uh, it's terrible. It was, I like fucking matzo with butter. I'm, I like a lot of things, man. That's crazy. You're a matzo fucking with self-loathing butter? Jew. That's all you are. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> and, you're, and you technically are Jewish because it's on your mother's and side. And I hate and I hate myself because I believe in the stars. <laughs> what stars? So many of them are in the star in the sky. The ones that connect three. Is that like Kabbalah? Serious? Nah, I don't know what that is. I think I've never heard of that. I'm from Queens. <laughs> They call it synagogue. It's the Jews that have the red uh, string on their wrist. I don't know that one, man. It's Madonna Jews. I don't know that fucking dude. I, don't I know wish that I knew one. how to fucking cook. I'll take care of you, man. I'll show you some shit. I always easy, knew. easy shit. Oh, listen, when you're a fat fuck. You have ideas. Like I know how to dope shit up. Like <laughs> I can take a steak and turn it into a fucking <laughs> mignon. You know what you I'm know. saying? But there's a there's a. A certain thing, like I had a friend that went and was and was trained and the whole fucking thing, and and he made desserts. And on Monday nights he would make the desserts, and I would sit there with him and sample them, and write jokes all night. This is mm. when I first started doing comedy. But I would watch him do his thing, man, and I was mystified. I just didn't have the time to put four years in a fucking culinary. Fresh instead. from his fucking uh, conveyor belt sushi. Oh, you don't like that? That's like the it's like the perfect place if you're a stoner uh, to go. There's no server interactions at all. That place sucks. You don't that like place it? Sucks. Yeah, that's gross fish. Oh come on, no, like no. I told you like conveyor I told you. belt fish. Like I told you, dog. <laughs> if you pick it, it's terrible. No, it's no, just no. terrible. <laughs> it's just I told somebody else, and they were like, I told Burton, he's like. Does he not know that place is fucking horrendous? There's 8,000 places. You don't know where I went. <laughs> Listen. It's good. Tra- you, it's downtown, right? No. Where is it? It's, it's in the nice area by the Jews in West L.A. <laughs> no, yeah. They have them in downtown in, in Little Tokyo, but yeah. they, I, don't, I, I, I don't go there. I go to where the Jews are. I'm West L.A. for sushi. When you have the best sushi Can't in the you. state right here. Oh, no. This is what I deal with. No, yeah. You just like yeah. it because this it's your you favorite place. Yeah. No. There's two phenomenal places in the valley. Yeah. But yeah. you drove to West L.A. Yeah, to, dig <laughs> to get conveyor belt sushi <laughs> because fucking I'm sure Yelp was involved or... <laughs> <laughs> Something was involved here. I went to a place once where it came on boats. I, boats? Yeah. No, no, fucking no. It dumb. never ends. I was it like, we're out of here. It never ends. <laughs> it always came it with, with the wooden boat or like a, it floated down a river? Uh, yeah, like a com- the, instead of a conveyor belt, it's like water. <laughs> and it, it's in San Fran. It just floats up to you. And you're, oh, there's mine. <laughs> it's nasty. Unbelievable. <laughs> nasty like fish, fish on a conveyor it's belt. It's like the fish jumped onto the boat. Yeah. And you eat it. And they have, they have it so you can just order it on an iPad and you, they make it fresh. So you don't have to wait for the sure, conveyor belt. Sure. <laughs> sure they do. And they do. Wait, what do you mean sure they and do? And you went on a holiday weekend on a Monday, on a Sunday. Ooh. Look, you not, see what I'm saying? Old no, fish. It, don't, it, it never ends. Yeah. It never ends with this house of horror. Let's take Lee to the good spot, man. He wouldn't, he would, he would die. Oh, he, he, if you took him to a good restaurant, he would yeah. die. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Him and they pick garbage on purpose. <laughs> They throw a dart. What's the worst place we could go to? And where could we drive to to really waste our fucking time? <laughs> I was telling Bert then. I go, Bert, I'm doing a human experiment. Yeah. I got like a human experiment that I watch people. You know, I watch everybody. And I yeah. think, and I, I think college people lately, like this new last two generations, they're done. <laughs> dumb as rocks. They're not dumb. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Because they bought into something. Him and Diagostino are the same age. 
Diagostino makes less money than he does. You got to see the places Diagostino goes to, just on a hunch. Yeah. He grew up in the valley, I give him that. But he doesn't go on any safaris, nothing like that. He knows where, it's consistent. Yeah. It's consistent. It's all, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's all I've ever tried to do for you. It's just eliminate the hype and the bullshit and you to get the best available to you. That's what I've strived for my whole life. The, the beauty of my life is as dumb as I am and uneducated and felonies is, I never bought into the hype of nothing. 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 It was always my battlefield, my playing field. Yeah. Oh, this ain't going to work for you. Since I've been 20. Like, I didn't understand. And I've had my hard-headed moments as a young man. That's why I ended up in prison. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. But those little hard-headed moments land you in a different prison. When things are simple right in front of you, but you choose to make them harder and whatever, you, that comes back to bite you. In the you end. go the long road. Not, not now, <laughs> but later. Yeah. We goof on it, and I think about Lee, and I go, what's he doing? <laughs> like, how did he get this in his head? Like, yeah. Ventura's right there, Santa yeah. Barbara's right there, but he yeah. went to Pismo Beach. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it yeah. never ends. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, every time he says something, like, I just go, oh, my God. And I giggle in my head. Because it's not even a hypothesis. A Dude, hypothesis. you're missing out. Pismo Beach is great. It's an educated, you try it's an educated out. guess. <laughs> yeah. And it's not even an educated guess. They let somebody else do the guessing for them. <laughs> so why live? Why be alive? Yeah. What are you doing, Lee? I don't do nothing yeah. that's cool. Like, I don't give a fuck how cool it is. Yeah. If somebody sells me something that's cool, I don't want to go there. Like, remember for a while on Sunset, they had the naked lady sushi? Oh, yeah. Downstairs, yep. you go eat your fucking sushi or some chick's stomach. <laughs> do I want to do that? No. I go two minutes on Colfax. I sit at the bottom, don't bother nobody. I get the Philly roll, the fucking uh, couple pieces of albacore, and I'm out of there tip top magoo. Yeah. Because I ain't got time to waste. I don't have time to go to the capital of fucking sushi here in California. Yeah. To go all the way to the west side. The but worst this, area too, West Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. You talk to for four just, pieces of shitty it's fish. Little, it says Little Japan on, on the street name. If you go, if you go to that street, <laughs> that's it, why you go there. In for Japanese, fucking... yeah, that's why I go there. I went there for sushi. It took ten minutes. It's right next to the four hundred five. <laughs> if, if you're missing out, dude, it, <laughs> it's Little uh, Japan over there. They have a little. They have a nursery for flowers. That little Japanese people they take care of flowers. It's beautiful. <laughs> they they have restaurants where they only have Japanese on them. It's great. Little you're missing, Japan or Little Tokyo. Well, no, it's like Little Tokyo is like, I think it's actually called Little Japan, too. I just call it Little Tokyo. That They have that in downtown. I went there once. It was okay, but there were lines everywhere. I went down to West LA. There's parking, tons of parking. It was it was great. It was fun. You How order, did you hear about this restaurant? I, I looked. I, okay. He he hates Yelp. Here so, but here here's, you use Yelp? I use oh, Yelp. Oh, please. He but, doesn't go to... But, but he let gets me, Yelp can I, can and whatever his girlfriend myself? says. No, <laughs> whatever the boss says and Yelp. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the boss says. Um, I just used it because where else are you supposed to find the conveyor belt sushi place? I just typed in conveyor belt sushi. I found one and I used to work right well, next door. Where did, where did you hear about conveyor belt sushi in the first place? I've I've uh, first of all one of our good friends went there. Went went. I don't know if it was that one. I didn't get a text back, but. Uh, and then I, when I moved out here, on fa when I went out here, I, I read an article. Our good friend Becky went to one of the same thing yeah. with the iPad. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It's it just, I don't know. To me, it just sounds like it's just processed food. Sushi's up. No, processed no, food. No, it's, I, 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 is it fresh? They make it fresh and then here yeah, you go. I no, mean, he gets it. No, I mean, no, I don't no. know. It, I'm not, don't it probably me. does. The, the, the ones on the conveyor belt probably could go around. You might as well go to Rob's, brother. Oh, you that's might as well disgusting. Go to Ross and get no. The same sushi. 7-Eleven sushi. You ever oh, see that? Sushi. Sometimes I walk in, I see 7-Eleven sushi, and I go, Are you fucking kidding? Like, who would even tempt that? Lee would. If, no, if, I wouldn't. If, if I wouldn't have met Lee, he would have been a 7-Eleven sushi. 7-Eleven sushi. Yes, he would. <laughs> yeah. At least fighting back tonight. Look at him. He's well, because he's, he's, <laughs> he's uh, 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 what is it called? Not, uh, what's this? Sl slandering? This is libeling my name. Slandering <laughs> my name. your taste. <laughs> yeah. No, have okay. you have you ever gotten sick from? No, one I've these? never. Oh, yes, either. he has. No, I haven't. Wholesale sushi on Laurel. No, Canyon. I didn't. I got sick because I you saw, gave me a fucking. I saw edible. people running out of there one day. Uh, I said, "Where'd you go for sushi over there?" I saw people running out of there like their asshole was on fire. <laughs> that whole mall is death over there. That whole mall. That's, the Hindu uh, place. The, yeah. They got the fucking uh, what's the other place? The cookies. The Hindu place. Yeah, they got like a. a they have a macaroon place. Yeah, macaroon place. Oh, yeah. Noodle something. That's horrific. Over there. <laughs> Welcome to the Thanksgiving podcast uh, <laughs> with Uncle Joey. Lot to be thankful Simmons. for. Lot, lot to be fucking thankful for. 
Don't forget that turkey, cocksucker. Remember that song, Ricky, Don't Lose My Number? Ricky, don't forget about me. Bring the turkey over there. You got to set your mark and enforce it. You don't want to be the third son-in-law sitting in the back of the room like a fucking mama Luke. I'm not, but I'm not going to bring a turkey over there. You live near your mom? No, she lives in Boston. Oh, oh so she's in town. No, 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 no they, his mother-in-law. His mother-in-law. Oh, his mother-in-law. His mother-in-law. Does she lives nearby? Yeah. yeah, they're Spanish. They love okay. to fucking cook. There's four of them. They're going to make chickens. How many chickens are you going to make? Bring a fucking turkey over and get the party started. Why are you so scared? I'm not scared, Yes, bro. you are. This no. is not about, I don't like turkey. You eat a no. scab off a fucking foot. You eat turkey from fucking Subway. Yeah. That means you'll eat anything. Yeah. Right, so stop it. Don't say that. I, I don't like to eat turkey because no, it's, I, it's I, dry. All of a sudden, now you're trying to throw the dry fucking thing in there. Grab a leg. Grab you a eat leg fucking turkey off. every day. Stop bullshitting me. Turkey's fine. You got to set your mark bro, and force it. Oh, uh, bro, what? What? I had, I, I moved here. I had a lot of Thanksgivings where I didn't have anybody to have it with. I would much, I, now I'm having it with this girl that I've been dating for two and a half years. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I don't care. I'll eat turkey at some point or maybe I won't. Look at this poor fucking It kid. doesn't matter this? to me. Can you believe this fucking Why do, why do, why does turkey matter? Because it matters. Yeah, you gotta I, have it. It's, it's fucking America. It's America, Lee. You gotta I'll set your, you at some point. You gotta set your mark and enforce it. That's it. They're gonna eat chicken every fucking year. You gotta bring a turkey over. She's gonna cook anyway. She's a great cook. She loves to cook. Bring the fucking turkey over there and set the rules for next year. Can you believe what I gotta do? Yeah, Lee? but that doesn't take like eight hours. It takes like eight hours. You set it up in the morning. They it's not eight, it's maybe six love, hours. They love all that so shit. You throw it in the morning and it's a whole day together. It's not just about eating the turkey, it's about the process. You stuff it. You clean it. You tie its little fucking legs together, and then you and then you wait, and the house starts to smell like turkey. And you watch some football. You fuck around with your girlfriend in the other room for a little while. Whatever it takes. I know you. You're gonna get high, and it, and and you're just gonna keep smelling that turkey as you get high and hungry. And then that shit comes out, and it's got wet stuffing coming out of its pussy. If it's two in the afternoon and you ain't high, go fuck yourself. Get out of my face. I want you around me like I want cancer in my ball sack. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come around here looking at me with your fucking white eyes thinking that, you know, I'm going re- to reform. Go fuck yourself. My morning starts at 5.30 a.m. Either you're there or you're square. You know what I'm saying?